what's up guys i hope you're all doing well we are going to do a video and talk about denim tonight yep you heard me right denim this is really the first longer form video that is going to touch on it and kind of go into a little more detail we'll start with the basics and an uh, introduction to some of the uh, pairs in my collection some of those kind of like hot topics such as like fading whether you should wash your denim or not all all that fun stuff which i'll uh give you some breaking news right now wash your denim we'll start with the basics of just what is selvage so if you look at this pair of denim which is from momotaro which is a japanese denim brand you see that there are two ends or two seams that are made to create this leg now this is the selvage or this is the actual selvage edge of the textile of the uh, fabric so this is probably what you're what you're used to seeing on um you know textiles or cotton that either on like a trouser or on non-selvage denim and what this is is that at the end where they meet the two pieces of the fabric together they are taking a separate piece of yarn a separate piece of thread to actually you know connect this and create that create that edge additional kind of potential for failure points with selvage denim it's the same piece of yarn that's going through the shuttle loom that's actually finishing off the edge so it's just one one long piece of yarn that's used to create a much more like structurally sound and resilient piece of fabric the two main yarns that are creating this this fabric and that really goes for for any denim but we're talking about selvage the denim or you have the yarn that's going horizontally that's kind of stitching if you look very closely here you can see the stitching is going side to side whereas if you look very closely at the stitching in this direction it's going up and down so the yarn that's running across that is known as the weft the yarn that runs up and downwards is known as the warp. So typically it's the warp that has the indigo dyed yarn and the weft is usually undyed or it's bleached so that it has this look to it. So those are the main components. Now that we covered the basics, I'm going to I'm going to share a few of my own pairs that I really enjoy. Everything that you're going to see here is either from Momotaro denim or from Pure Blue Japan PBJ. But really, I'd say like a starting point for a really solid, reliable piece of denim from Momotaro or PBJ is around like 200 US dollars. This is my pair of 15th anniversary denim from Momotaro. Now this is a unique denim in the sense that this is called a broken weave. So basically what that means is typically as we're looking at the interior here, which is the weft. What this typically is, is that this is always stitched in one direction. And then if you look at this, this one, this is called a broken weave, which means that it's going in both directions. Well, I think I got it. So this is the, this is the broken weave and the whole purpose or the intent of that, basically like this prevents the fabric or the twill from twisting. So sometimes when you wash denim, you'll put it back on and the leg will start to twist. And that's because the weave is only going in one direction with broken denim or broken weave. Uh, I think broken twill, sorry it's actually going crisscross in both directions. So it's gonna create a much more consistent drape as you wear it and it won't twist back and forth. Now these are the most expensive pair of selvage that I've ever had, probably my favorite pair of denim. So this is again, Pure Blue Japan PBJ. They're double natural indigo tank dyed or hand dyed handmade denim. Basically this is like a handmade pair of jeans. There are, this is a double natural indigo. So not only are they kind of spinning the yarn by hand on the shuttle loom but this yarn that is used to make both the warp and the weft is hand dyed with natural indigo so they are actually harvesting the indigo from special plants in japan and then hand dipping and twisting and dyeing each individual yarn but it really creates a much more kind of vibrant color it's definitely a, you know a much different experience and different result than your typical indigo dyed denim so you see this really unique texture and the kind of like slubbiness to the to the cotton to the denim and that is a direct result of the fact that this is handmade they put each individual yarn both for the warp and the weft on the shuttle loom now the last piece I'll touch on about selvage before kind of getting into some of the quick hits of FAQs about washing denim 
each denim brand will have a unique selvage ID and they may even have a unique selvage ID from one pair of denim to the next. So here for the PBJs, you see a very white and blue, very simplistic selvage ID. On the Momotaro, you have their signature pink and gold because this is their 15th anniversary denim. But when I pull up this other pair, you're going to see this is their kind of classic signature pink and white. So you can, you can see that this denim has a brown weft, which creates a completely different look and fade pattern or just wear in pattern. But then if you look at the selvage ID, you see it's got the classic pink and white on this side, and then it's got a gold and white on this side. Let me, let me finish it off by some of those quick hit questions and answers. Do you wash denim? Yes. How often do you wash it? However often you need to wash it. You can throw it just in the washing machine on a gentle cycle with cold water and then hang dry it or lay it flat and dry it. Um, that's actually better for the longevity of the denim. I think the reason that people don't wash it is because when you wash it, it evens out the fades. So if you, if you uh, don't wash it, then the only part of the denim that starts to bleed is where you're creasing it or where that wear pattern is like behind the knee or in the hips. So uh, people that say like they don't wash denim, it's not for the longevity of it. Even though they may think that, it's really because they want that stark contrast of, of fades. Now onto the topic of fades themselves. Fades is not really the goal, it's just the result of wearing your denim and enjoying it. I hope that was kind of a good baseline to start with, with the topic of denim. Um, just to round it out, one of my favorite stores for denim for selvage um, is Okiyama from Japan. That's where I've gotten the pairs that I showed here and I'll leave the link there. The brands that I would recommend are definitely Momotaro and PBJ, which is pure blue Japan. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the denim you saw and I appreciate the support. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.